Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Subkara. In this video, we are going to discuss an important point in the Supreme Court judgment that whoever wants to prove the title, who wants to prove a fact according to section 101 of the Indian Revenue Act, they shall prove it beyond all reasonable doubt. Simply because the other party could not prove the title, this party cannot be given the advantage. So this is most important point. So discuss in the case of Smriti, Smriti Irani Laga, Smriti Debrahma versus Prabha Ranjan Debrahma, a royal family in Assam. In CA, Civil Appeal Number 878 by 2009, disposed on 4-1-2023 by two judges bench, Honorable Justice Sanjeev Karna and J.K. Maheshwari, where the Supreme Court opined that decree of possession cannot be passed to the plaintiff merely because the defendant could not prove or could not establish the title. Who has to prove establish the title? The plaintiff has to establish the title because he has filed the case. Right. <clears throat> Supreme Court observed that the weakness of the defense cannot be a justification to decree the suit in favor of the plaintiff. The plaintiff has to prove his right, title and interest. Right. Now we will go to the facts of the case, most important. During the year 1986, so Sri Spriti Devarama as an attorney or a GPA holder on behalf of Maharani Chandratara Devi. So she filed a suit on behalf of Maharani. This is Smriti Debrahma. She filed a suit for declaration of title of that Kosh Mahal. So <coughs> to declare Maharani as the owner of the property which is presently called as Kosh Mahal and actually the king Mr. He is uh, some Debrana. He is also Debrana. No, Prabharanjan, Debrana's father. Actually, Prabharanjan, this father, he has uh, uh, given the property of this particular Kosh Mahal to Tatas, who maintained a five star hotel. Then it was changed as an air, it was given to the airlines people. Ultimately, it was. Uh, uh, now it is vacant. So the two people, that is uh, Deva Spriti, Devrana and the, um, the legal heads of uh, Prabha Ranjan, Devrana, they are fighting for it. Now Smriti Devrana filed a case for declaration of the title, so interest and uh, uh, declaration of suit uh, for the <coughs> right title and interest. Okay, this one. And the trial court, yes, they have passed the decree in favor of uh, Srimati Devarma, holding that she has got right title and interest. But the other people, Maharaja, Prabha, Ranjan, Devarma, they have gone to the Gaugati High Court. They have reversed the judgment. So the trial court judgment was reversed. So therefore, aggrieved by the order of the High Court, once again, Smriti Devarma approached the Honorable Supreme Court of India. Right. So here even the High Court also found fault with the trial court stating that did Smriti Devrahma prove her title? Here the point is no because the other party could not prove the title advantage was given to her. So Supreme Court said that whatever the High Court said is 100% correct. So according to section 101 of the so called Indian Evidence Act as regards the proof of any particular fact, the person who claimed the right, he has to prove. But you cannot take advantage of the other people's innocence or other people's inability to prove that he is the owner. Nenu owner ni, naak title unda anna padu, meeru prove chayali. Other side, no doubt, athan koda prove chayali, athan prove chayali anta matra na, meeku athan chayali anta matra na meeku avatani ke lehedu. This is what the Supreme Court said that. So, the plaintiff has not been able to discharge the burden of proof of legal ownership and title. No doubt, here the possessor is in the 
legal uh, so the defendant in the physical possession of the property yes they have, cannot be displaced till the plaintiff produces the correct evidence regarding the ownership this is what is told by honorable so please remember so the possessors normally they are the presently owners unless they establish better title and rights for the property so please remember so person in possession definitely he will have a right except the rightful owner if the rightful owner comes he has to vacate so in this connection please remember section 101 also the burden of proof lies on a party which asserts and not on the party who denies it so this is most important point so normally we will be under the impression that uh, since the other party is not able to prove the case beyond all reasonable doubt advantage should be given to him it's not correct that is what is told by the honorable supreme court of india i think you have understood it better civil cases it's very one of the beautiful judgments please read the judgment and uh, improve your uh, legal knowledge with this i am concluding thank you very much